evening peeps. Now I have a question for you. Who here likes Mario Kart? Yeah! Oh dear. Crash Team Racing is my favourite kart racer ever. The roaring engines that assault your ears as you fly through the tracks at blistering speed. The items that lead to the most brutal battles in a kart racer. The satisfying boost system. The charming track design. This guy, locked your... To access a racetrack. Yeah, this game is the reason why the socks under my bed here are solid. Now, Crash Team Racing made a lot of money back in the day. And you all know what that means. I don't like where this is going. Crash Nitro Kart was a beautiful looking step down in my opinion. Still a fun game with more gimmicks and characters and that's it. And Crash Tag Team Racing? You people are dumber than a sack of hammers! Didn't happen. So picture this. The year is 21-8. Your remastered collection of the original Crash trilogy is sold like crack in Birmingham. So you decide to then remaster another of his classic outings. But this time you make it bigger, better and belly. <laughs> So for this video specifically, we'll be talking about the remake of CTR Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. And if you want to see me melt mm. myself over the original game, you'll have to wait. This game came out in mid-2019 and I've never been so excited for a remaster. Ever since its reveal at the Game Awards in 2018, the waiting period to play this was just painful. But the wait was well worth it because when I finally put that disc in and changed my trousers, I was in for the ride of my life. This game contains not only the original CTR's roster, tracks, battle mode and story mode completely remastered from the ground up, but it also has all of the Nitro Kart tracks, characters and battle maps, and they even added more tracks, characters, carts and cosmetic items in post-launch updates, and these range from Arseface TM to Right, so I've sucked this game's nipples hard enough now, so why don't we look for another kart racer to play? Uh, let's see... Nickelodeon... Kart... Races. Oh dear. What can I say that other people haven't already said about this? It's an all-time classic. It's got perfect review scores on every... Oh. Yeah, let's just play Mario Kart instead. This is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8! Can you tell? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a definitive edition of Mario Kart 8 on the Nintendo Cemetery. The game was great but its biggest problem was the dead console that it was stranded on. So instead of making a new Mario Kart 9, they just put 8 on a console that doesn't make me sad when I power it up. And now so many people are getting to experience a game that they would have never otherwise played. Now I'm not going to pretend I'm the local Mario Kart expert because I grew up with a this. However, I do think it'll be quite interesting to pit these two games up in an illegal boxing ring and see who, in my opinion, comes out on top. It's CTR. Now don't take that as a fuck Mario, because I really do like him. Galaxy was my second favourite game ever, if you remember. And I've grown up with him on the Game Boy, the... That's it. But the one series I have always been mixed on is Mario Kart. Just... I didn't get it. This might be because my first ever experience with Mario Kart was on the Wii. And I fucking hated that game. But since then I've played stuff like Mario Kart DS and 7, and I thought those were both really good games. So what happened? I'm being a bit harsh here. There were a few things I thought Mario Kart Wii did really well, so let's list them off here. Number one, Wii Will. Now I did really like playing Mario Kart DS on the Nintendo dipshit, but most of the time I'd much rather just whip my PSP out instead and play CTR on there. PSP, it's like a nut you can play with outside. Oh fuck yeah. Right, let's stop beating around the bell end now and get into the specifics of what I think both games do right and wrong. CTR is absolutely stunning, like, on PS4 Pro that game is just, it's so bouncy and it's so vibrant. However, I'm going to give the point to Mario Kart because I feel like the colours are better, the environments look nicer, it just looks better. I don't know how to describe it, it just looks better. This is one of the most important parts for me, mainly because I prefer to play CTR due to its deep mechanics. Mario Kart 8 aims to appeal to as many people as possible, which means it needs to be accessible for younger people, older people, and casual people. That being said, it's immediately obvious that the game holds your hand 
quite a bit. There's an auto no fall off the track option which is on by default and if you haven't quite grasped the concept of moving forward there's an auto accelerate for you there as well. The game feels very luck based on who wins. This is probably because the items make it that way so the people can win even if they're bad but this takes away the getting better element of the game that I love in CTR so much. In CTR there's so many jumps and turns and all sorts of different mechanics you can learn and master and then get better. But with Mario Kart I just want to put it down after 5 minutes after losing every race because there is no way I can really improve myself. So I'm going to be judging these rosters based on what established characters from each series do and don't end up in this game. So Mario Kart 8 has the weakest roster ever in the series, in my opinion. Most of these characters are just Koopalings or recolors of existing characters and that's no fun. That's like having 7 Fire Emblem fighters in Smash Ultimate. Oh wait, there are some obvious must-haves here but there are way too many characters that have been diagnosed with why the fuck are you here. I do like the crossover characters however, Link, Animal Crossing characters and the Inklings from Splatoon are all playable which is great. But Crash gets this point as well because his roster is insane, there's what 61 characters in the game and there's pretty much every single character from every Crash game you could ever think of combined as like, I don't know, the evil twins, but who the fuck wants them anyway. Plus there's even characters that haven't appeared in Crash that are brand new and original and there's even this fucking crate, why? Oh yeah, and we also had crossover characters in the form of Spyro, Hunter and that. Now this was a very hard one to choose between as both have very good modes. CTR does have the more variety with a whole story, single player, campaign -y thing that's well worth your time, I fucking love it. But other than that there's only the battle mode and I'm not really a massive fan of it, I'm not going to lie. This is where Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's battle mode comes in. Not only to swoop the point for this round, but to save itself from Mario Kart 8 battle mode. Yeah, it wasn't very good, there wasn't really much to do in it, but this new expanded battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there is so much variety of different tracks or arenas, and a different battle mode. There's so much to do here, and I had a blast with friends playing this. This is honestly great, so... Mario Kart gets the point on this one. So we're on the final round now and it's another hard one because both have brilliant track selection. But I'm going to give the point to CTR obviously because the tracks in CTR just feel more lively. There's more stuff in the backgrounds and they're basically the 3D platforming environments turned into a racetrack. It's great. Plus the shortcuts are much more creative and I love the shortcuts in this game. They feel so good to pull off. So that's my opinion on the two best kart races you can get on the market right now. Now I need something to do until the next video comes out. Well, I could always give this game a try. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So until next time, make sure you take care, stay safe and enjoy life.